On today's episode of Time to Get Social, we're talking about e-commerce and some proven marketing strategies that are gonna help you grow your e-commerce business, as well as some secret Facebook hacks that we've learned over the last few months with our e-commerce clients. Spoiler alert, they work very, very well. If you're serious about building a brand, it's, it's a year by year. Billion dollar businesses actually have been built already on the back of just social media. So e-commerce is completely taking over the business landscape, whether you're a native e-commerce company, meaning that's the organic form of your business, that's all you do is sell online, or you're a local business who now also sells online in addition to your retail store, there's no doubt that the popularity of e-commerce has been blowing up. And with that popularity has come new challenges. E-commerce owners everywhere are trying to figure out how exactly can they market their online store and how do they get the biggest bang for their buck. One of those ways has for a while been social media advertising and using things like Facebook ads to scale your traffic and your sales. But also as time has gone on and competition has entered the market, these things have become more and more competitive each and every year and really less effective. And that's something that if you own an e-commerce store, you've probably seen, is that what worked last year in terms of ads don't work this year, doesn't work this year. Um, and that's not your fault. That's partially because so many more people are entering the marketplace and it's flooding the ad platform with all these just irrelevant competitors, ads, content, videos, but also just the consumers are evolving. What they used to respond to, they're not responding to anymore, right? And so we've had a lot of complaints from our clients in the past saying, hey, we ran this campaign last year, it did amazing, it drove this many sales, 300% ROI, but then all of a sudden this year they run the same campaign and zero, they can't even get a single sale out of it. And that's because the strategies that are effective on social media are changing every single day, specifically Facebook ads. So what worked in your Facebook ads last year is not gonna work, like I just said. That means you have to change your strategy. So. What we've learned here at Suit Social, working with multiple e-commerce companies is we've had to get very, very good at really testing quickly new strategies. And we find that almost every few weeks, what worked doesn't work. Almost every month we're trying new strategies. And as of now, what's working the best is definitely leveraging custom audiences, okay? So if you're not using custom audiences in your e-commerce advertising strategy, that's something that we wanna go over today. So when I say custom audiences, I mean retargeting and lookalike. So most of you know this, but for those of you that don't, you can A, retarget people based on certain actions, whether it's based on an email you've been given before in your marketing, whether it's because they've watched a video in the past, whether it's they follow you on Instagram, even if they've just really visited your website, you can retarget pretty much anyone, as creative as you can get, as long as your pixel's tracking uh, this engagement, you can retarget them. But you can also build something we call lookalike audiences, which is taking retargeting audiences, okay, so stay with me, let's say we have a retargeting audience of everyone who's visited your website. We could take that and make a lookalike audience of everybody in Canada, the US, Europe, wherever, that looks like your customers. Now when I say looks like, I don't mean they physically look like their customers. I mean, their data looks like your customers. So Facebook, for every single user on that platform, so if you upload a list of a thousand customers, it has the profiles of all those thousand customers and it knows everything they do, what pages they follow, what websites they go to, their purchase behavior, how much they spend on average, you know, what their favorite car is, what their favorite food is, how much time they spend on the platform, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It has all of that data. And so when you make a lookalike audience, it takes all that data from your original retargeting audience and it finds everybody else in whatever country you want that has those same, basically, data sets. So if the majority of your customers, for example, by chance, follow, I don't know, rock bands on Facebook, it's gonna find you everyone else in the country that also is gonna be following rock bands, right? Just as a random example. So these lookalike audiences are great because they don't run out. When you build a retargeting audience, let's say we retarget everybody who's been on your website, now they're gonna see an ad. Well, there's only so many people getting to your website, eventually you run out. Lookalike audiences find infinite sets of populations all over the world. So it'll find me everybody in, I could say really the whole planet. We could set that wide, everyone across the whole planet that looks like your website viewers. Right? So the chances of you running out of that are, are slim to none. Right? You have billions, literally probably billions of people. And you can choose those to be broader or narrower. You can say, get me 1% of the population, and that will give you the most narrow set. You can go up to like three, four, five, six percent 
right? We found when you're building a lookalike audience, for those of you that are more advanced, Lookalike audiences in the 3% range are the most effective. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go into Facebook, go into your audiences and go try to create a lookalike audience. And you'll see the option to move this little slider to select that percentage. 3% has by far been the most effective. Now, that's the boring part of this. So if you're not doing this already, I have to mention that because if you're not doing this, you're just way, way behind. Use custom audiences in your e-commerce. The second thing though, is where we get to these secret little Facebook hacks. Now it's one thing to retarget the obvious, retarget my website viewers, retarget my email list, retarget my Instagram followers. That's the basics. But what the large brands are doing, companies like Best Buy, for example, or Walmart or Amazon, is they're making custom audiences based on specific sets of data and sets of buyer behaviors. So what I mean by that is this, instead of just retargeting everybody who's been to your website, instead, you could target everybody who's been to your website, viewed a piece of content and left. Then you could retarget everyone who's viewed a piece of content, added something to their cart and then left. And we call that an abandoned cart retargeting sequence. You could also then target people who have added something to their cart and commenced checkout, but didn't finish, right? You can create all of these into custom audiences that you can then run your ads to. And we found that the most effective Facebook hack of all time is retargeting your abandoned carts, retargeting every single person who's been to your store, put something in their cart and not purchased, retargeting them with a very special offer. That will be your lowest cost per conversion ad you ever run. So we have clients that we're doing that for that that's probably four times cheaper than the next best performing ad set. So if you don't have an ad set retargeting or a campaign retargeting abandoned carts, you're leaving a ton of money on the table because the worst part is you're already spending money to get them to the website in the first place. Now you're losing them all together, right? So that's this net. So between leveraging custom audiences and leveraging them in that way to do things like abandoned carts, that's one of the biggest secrets of e-commerce marketing. And the last tip I have for e-commerce marketing is it is all about the offers, getting creative with your offers, no matter what advertising targeting you use, custom audiences, abandoned carts, all this. If you don't have good offers, it's very hard to move any sort of product in volume, right? If you really want to drive those sales now, and I totally respect some brands don't want to devalue their brand. They're not all about discounts but you can value stack. You can give more than is expected, right? You can add an extra layer of service to purchases, things that are exclusive, that are unique, that add value to the brand and to the customer, but you need great offers. We had a customer we were running ads for for about two months uh, and they refused to offer any sort of offer. They said the product is good enough, send them to the website, they will sign up. They didn't. We ran ads for almost two months with not even a single conversion. When that client finally agreed, fine, we'll put an offer. We ended up doing a discount. It was simple. It was easy. 15% off your first order. This was a subscription product, meaning who cares? 15% off the first order every other month from here on out is full price. Guess what? Almost 40 conversions, 40 new subscription customers just a month later. That's how important offers are. We changed nothing else. Okay. And one little side hack bonus tip, all of that fails and you're still not seeing results. When it comes to e-commerce, the creative of your ad is infinitely important. And right now the highest converting ads for e-commerce are definitely short format video, video that clearly displays the value of the product, the value proposition of the brand, the problem that you're solving basically in, in short and what exactly the product is, who uses it, why I need it, those are killing it. So think short videos, 30 seconds long, picture or video changes every second, very fast, little bit of overlay text, those are doing fantastic. And I just watched a video from the guy behind a lot of the Apple advertising uh, of the past iPhone launches, he spent like $80 million to Apple, and he also now has been ad advertising for that new waterproof shoe company, whatever that's called. Vossi or Vassi or something like that. But anyway, they're spending millions in advertising and his whole strategy is these little 10, 15 second videos where they just like multiple clips of the shoe with a few lines of text 
and the copy of the whole ad is literally just customer reviews. And the headline is just like the name of the product. Very simple, it's making them millions. But it's because he nailed that perfect creative strategy and he's using video the right way. So these are just a few of the tips and the strategies you can use in your marketing your e-commerce business in 20. 20. Hopefully that's helpful. I know we're just scratching the surface. If you want to see more e-commerce videos and have me actually do some live demos, go into this stuff, show you some of the e-commerce advertising campaigns that we're doing. If you actually care about that stuff, drop a comment below, let me know, and we'll do those in future videos. Other than that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tune in next week for the next episode of Time to Get Social.